up? It's Jordan from Zero to Hero Muscle. And real quick, I wanted to address or readdress this issue because I feel like I've talked about it in so many videos in the past, yet so many of you guys are constantly emailing me asking me questions about this. And it's protein supplements. Why don't I recommend taking protein supplements? Why don't I take protein supplements myself? And the thing you guys have to realize is that protein supplement, protein powder, all it is is protein. That's all it is. And I can't understand making the choice to take in your protein from a nasty, lumpy, gross tasting, expensive powder as opposed to just getting it from whole food that actually tastes good and that you'll actually enjoy. Um, what, what does a scoop of protein powder run you? Around 120 calories, maybe more. You know how many kinds of food you could eat that are 120 calories equivalent to that that are going to be much better? And I know these protein powders, they hit you with these flavors that sound good like a uh, chocolate eruption or s'mores or graham cracker and stuff like that. And it sounds good, but trust me, they would be better off branding all of those flavors as ass because that's what they taste like. It's ass. It's just, you know, you mix that powder and if you mix it with milk, you're adding another, at least another 100 calories to that. So 250, 300 calories you're wasting on a nasty, lumpy, ass flavored shake. Is that something you want to be drinking every day? Because I don't know about you, but I don't like drinking ass flavored shakes. I'd rather just have a milkshake, you know? So protein powder, protein supplements, all they are is protein. And it's much better for you to just get that from whole food sources. You know, things like meat, beef, chicken, steak, tuna, or what have you, anything like that. These are all things that actually taste good and that you're gonna enjoy a hundred times more than this lumpy ass shake. So, you know, don't get caught up in the whole protein obsession. I know a lot of you guys are completely obsessed with protein. Oh, Jordan, you know, um, I heard you have to take this much protein. You gotta take uh, protein pre-workout, protein intra-workout, protein post-workout. Uh, how am I supposed to get all this protein if I don't have protein supplement, no protein powder? Look, all that information you're getting about it, having to take protein before your workout, during your workout, after your workout, it's complete BS. It's really completely irrelevant in the grand scheme of things when it comes to building muscle. You don't need to be timing your protein like that and you certainly don't be, you don't need to get it like every single second of the day or every single meal of the day. You could take it all in one meal if you want to. I actually take my protein personally in, you know, just a couple meals. So all that stuff about you can't digest protein, you can't digest large amounts of protein or your body can't absorb large amounts of protein uh, in small amounts of time is complete BS too. If you're putting food into your body, your body's going to absorb those nutrients. It's not just gonna go and you know evaporate into thin air that doesn't make any sense so don't listen to that you know all these outlets that are pushing protein on you protein supplements supplements in general <laughs> once you open up your eyes and see that most of mainstream fitness is designed to push supplements on you push protein on you so that you buy those that they're who are constantly getting you to over obsess about this pre-workout protein, post-workout protein, whatever, uh, one gram of protein per pound of body weight, that's too much. You don't need that much. Some people even say 1.5 grams of protein, which is insane. And all of these numbers are coming from the supplement companies, if you really think about it. So, you know, you have to be able to think for yourself. You don't need that much protein. 0.6 to 0.9 grams is all you ever need. And personally, um, I only stay between most days 0.7 or 0.8 grams of protein per pound of body weight. That's really all you need. As I always say, 0.6 to 0.9 grams of protein per pound of body weight. So I hope this resolves all your guys' obsession with this issue. 
Forget about the protein powder, man, okay? Just forget about the protein supplements. Forget about all the supplements. Forget about the shakes. Focus on consuming whole food. That's what's gonna build you the best quality muscle, okay? You don't need supplements. Forget about them. Stick to eating whole food, all right? Until next time, I'll see you in the next training video. If you enjoyed what you just learned in this free secret training video, make sure you join my priority waitlist for my full training course, Zero to Hero, the muscle building blueprint for skinny guys, where you'll learn my 20 skinny killing muscle building secrets for how to fully transform yourself from an average pathetic zero into a ripped aesthetic superhero. All you need to do is click the link on your screen Enter your name and your email and you'll be all set for the next release date. It literally takes just a few seconds. So go ahead and do that right now before we run out of spaces. And I will see you in the next training video.